Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the alarm shelving feature in iFix 6.0, specifically about how to configure shelf policies for tag alarms in iFix. So if we go to iFix and we have iFix running and I want to set up in my database uh, alarm shelving for particular alarms and enable those alarms to be shelved at runtime. So in the configuration side we start by opening up a particular tag and you can see we have a group box here that indicates that you can make or specify that a tag is shelvable. When I enable shelving I have to select a policy that gives the details of what uh, I can shelf, how I can shelf, etc. So to do that, we're just going to create a new policy. Pops up this dialog. We're going to call it. Um, we'll call it downtime policy. So this may be something you want to be able to shelf alarms that have to do with an asset that you know is going to be when it, when you know that it's going to be offline. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger as a max duration. This is the maximum amount of time that an alarm can be shelved for that is in this policy. And I can also create some presets so that it makes it easier for my operator to just pick some uh, preset values that I uh, want to allow shelving for. So for example, I could say uh, down for two hours, for example. Uh, I could add one, sorry, we'll make that like two hours, we can make this uh, down for a day and make that 24 hours and let's say let's add one more down for a week, right, and that's what, 168 hours, give or take. And let's say that on typically I want them the default to be 24 hours that I that I shelf something that is offline for. So I can save that. So now uh, put that back on scan. Let's do one more for the digital tag. And again, we can enable alarm shelving. I could choose to apply downtime policy uh, to that, or I can create a new one specifically for our digital alarms for example. Currently we don't allow spaces in the name. And then we can add again some presets. Let's just make this simple. We can say short, um, short, medium and long. Let's say, let's say the short is one hour and I can choose minutes here as well so I can get a little bit more finer grained. So let's do that. Let's change that to minutes and let's call this 30 minutes. And we'll add two more. Short, medium, and long. And we'll make medium like say a shift, an eight hour shift, and long, let's make that 24 hours. So I can save that. Once you've configured a number of alar shelf policies uh, through the tag interface, you can also go to the home view in the database application and work with the alarm shelf policies all together. So this is an alarm shelf policy list. You can see the two that we created our tags and I can edit those etc or delete them etc so that is kind of a uh, high level view of all of the policies in your system and you can manage them from here and that's essentially how you configure alarm shelving in iFix I'll just show you one more thing we've added we allowed you to s we have new column values that you can put into your grid so that you can see what's going on at a glance so I'm going to add shelf policy 
I've already got a few of these columns up here like the shelf duration etc and some of these will reflect runtime values like if it's been shelved or not so you can see AI1 is part of the downtime policy and the DI1 is part of digital alarms in our next video we'll show you how this all works when you go to runtime